Michael Carvajal was the director of the Bureau of Prisons. He has served in the Bureau of Prisons for the past 30 years, most recently having served as the assistant director. Do you swear the testimony you will give before this subcommittee will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I'm Mike Sisak. I'm a law enforcement reporter for the Associated Press. My colleague Mike Balsamo and I have been reporting on the Federal Bureau of Prisons for more than two years. Uh, digging deep into uh, various issues that are plaguing the agency. There was a mismanagement of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, there were short staffing issues at many of the facilities that led to uh, delayed responses to emergencies, including inmate suicides. Uh, we reported on uh, a rash of sexual assaults committed by staff members at a f uh, women's prison in California. Uh, one of the people accused was the warden of that facility, and on and on. This is the Associated Press reporting that staff and inmates at FCI Dublin call it, quote, rape club, and that, quote, inmates say they have been subjected to rampant sexual abuse by correctional officers and even the warden, and were often threatened or punished when they tried to speak up. Do you know if that's true? Is that true? It is, un it is being investigated, and if anything I understand my true, question we is are if going it's to true. hold people accountable. Is it true? I do not know if it's true. You don't know if it's true, It is have being you? investigated. There is a process, Senator, that we respect, and it's going through. I do not go by what the Associated Press or anyone says. We have processes to investigate these things. It's unacceptable uh, for, for any place to be known as a rape club, or condone that, we don't expect it from our staff, and we certainly take the priority in the safety of all inmates in our custody, as well as our staff, completely serious. 2021, the U.S. settled a lawsuit brought by 15 female inmates at a BOP facility in Florida, that's Coleman, who were raped, assaulted, and harassed by male officers. In one particularly harrowing account, an inmate said she was raped every Wednesday for six months at a warehouse where she'd been assigned to work. Is the Bureau of Prisons able to keep female detainees safe from sexual abuse by assault? Your testimony remains yes? Yes. We asked Senator Asa what his reaction was to Director Michael Carvajal's continued insistence that the buck stopped with him, but that he's in charge of a large, complex agency and didn't have the details on the day-to-day -day goings on within the prison walls. The, the director's testimony that he was unaware of these issues at U.S. Penitentiary Atlanta until the middle of last year strains credulity, and if it's true, it's a damning indictment of the failures of this bureaucracy, the failures of BOP's central office, and the Department of Justice to understand the depth of the depravity and misconduct ongoing in their facilities. We're talking about pre-trial, presumptively innocent detainees being held 23 hours a day, confined in crowded and vermin-infested cells, wearing paper clothing with paper blankets without access reliably to safe, clean drinking water, wasting away from malnutrition. After the hearing, the Associated Press gave Director Michael Carvajal an opportunity to speak about his testimony, about his plans uh, to reform the agency, and also the many problems plaguing the agency. He was flanked by aides. He kept walking down a hallway, at one point trying to get into a freight elevator, cornered in the elevator. He and the aides quickly scrambled to a stairway. The whole time, as reporters shouted questions at him, he remained silent and quickly walked away.